Hello, Professor Hobo. Thanks for joining yeah. us. Nice to have you here. Nice to meet you again. As you know, this is our bonus segment uh, where we talk about what inspired you along the way. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's start. Uh, what is work you think is worth looking into? One of the most important texts about uh, stories is, in fact, uh, Roland Barthes' uh, Plaisir du Text. And another very fundamental uh, thing uh, is still with uh, Gérard Genet, and I was happy to uh, translate this into German. Introduction to the Archi text, which is the, the very fundamental text. And there he is talking about the uh, discovery of uh, their poetological structures and the way how we think about um, dramatizing. Uh, one of the uh, in most inspiring things, not in the um, scholar uh, world, but in the more literate world, was this book. And um, this is one of the structuralists, um, poets, um, 100 billion um, poems. And when you open it, you really have, it looks quite small, but there are really 100 and uh, thousand billions of poems. You can here put your own poem when you change one of the lines, one of the verses. So it's a really inspiring thing uh, to think about how poetry and literature is, uh, is working. On uh, storytelling, uh, one uh, thing which inspired me a lot was this book, which is a, a photo novel, finally. Uh, a new kind of photo novel uh, dating from, I think, um, 1985 or so, which has recently been republished because it is really a very interesting uh, thing to to uh, show a story. I just can use some some of those pictures and it's very very inspiring um, different thing of story. You don't find any word. There's no word in uh, in this picture story. And uh, yeah, and at least the interpretation of Jack Derrida was very very <laughs> inspiring. Uh, Orality and literacy, where he talks about where uh, literacy um, comes from and how does it how is it how it shapes uh, our uh, view of thinking uh, with, within stories. So this is about, about uh, knowledge management in general. And uh, when uh, I am talking about knowledge management to my students, one of my um, greatest inspirations is this book. This is uh, Paul Daggett and um, John C. D. Brown, very famous uh, management theorists, um, The Social Life of Information published in the year 2000, one of the first books, who was talking, which was talking uh, from the business perspective about how information is important in the organization, in the, um, in the enterprise. And in the same time, uh, we have uh, the development of knowledge management in general. The title is in English, uh, Knowledge Creating Company. And uh, in this text and some other texts, they uh, pinpointed to the fact that uh, knowledge is only can only be transmitted when people meet at a, certain, uh, at a certain place. And there they meet to tell stories and not just give some information. So, so they created the, uh, the term, uh, the Japanese term, which is called ba, a Japanese uh, word for enabling space. And in at these enabling spaces, there are, there are knowledge... Uh, streams going on which are mainly in, in uh, the aspect of uh, stories. Some uh, final uh, remarks on my or general inspira inspiration sources are these tiny books for instance. Uh, unfortunately uh, also still in German. Uh, this is Byung Shul Han, um, philosopher uh, which is now, who is now based in the University of the Arts in Berlin. Uh, quite small books, but very inspiring, uh, with reflections on our contemporary uh, society, Müdigkeitsgesellschaft, uh, the society who is uh, always um, um, fatigued, uh, transparency uh, society, and his latest book, just um, two days ago it arrived, uh, it is a book about uh, the digital uh, life we are experiencing. So, uh, at least for those who can read German, it is very inspiring. All right. 
There you have it, guys. Thanks very much. Uh, I think this uh, should be enough for the next couple of weeks or month, months. Months, oh, yes. <laughs> <if you're... laughs> Yeah, uh, Professor Holborn, thank you very much for your time and uh, for your inspirations. And um, yeah, great to have you back on. Thank you for this video. Yeah. Bye.